Yeah! Welcome back to Wrestling Wednesdays, except for it's not Wednesday, it's actually Thursday, so I guess I don't know, because it actually, it could be playing on Wednesday, but uh, you might get it in your email on Thursday, so whatever. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Oh, man, my throat is gone, man. Finishing that Pizza Man movie. That just strained the hell out of my voice. And then going right from there to getting surgery on my knee. And then going from there to doing PR for YRG down in uh, in uh, the state of Florida. <laughs> I've still got no damn voice. So this is my last talking for a while. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, we're at the end of the, the Savage Page feud and... As you can see, over these last few months, it was one hell of a feud. It absolutely, uh, you know, was justified in getting Pro Wrestling Illustrated's 1997 Feud of the Year, and people are still talking about it. And it's been really great to go back and really look at all these interviews and and remember all those things that happened behind the scene. Um, I'm going to start off uh, the first video that will be under this will be a tri like a sort of um, a preview to build up for Havoc uh, from the first two matches. And I don't even know who did this. Some kid on uh, some kid on YouTube, you know, happens all the time. Uh, I actually went on there and said, uh, hey, you did a hell of a job uh, for this, um, you know, different take. Because, you know, Dylan's had his take and Aaron uh, Notstein's had his take. Uh, I don't know this gentleman's name yet, but at some point I'm sure I'll find out. If it's a guy at all, might be a girl, you never know. But um, <clears throat> I think he did a great job. And he left it at the end of it like there's more to come. So I'm actually interested in to see what he did with that. So this is really cool for me. I mean, these are the kind of things YouTube, uh, I don't miss being in the ring <laughs> because I get to live it when I watch all the great um, edited versions that a lot of you guys did. Now, my boy Dylan, uh, who uh, is now a professional wrestler, you know, over the years uh, when he first started this, he's got involved with YRG and lost 100 pounds. Uh, Gained a lot of it back. He's working on it, though, again. <laughs> you know, it's not about how many times you fall down. It's about how many times you get back up again. But um, Dylan did a hell of a job on the um, the edit of Halloween Havoc, so you don't have to watch all 20-something minutes of it. And he did some things with Fast Forward and stuff that really I found pretty damn entertaining. So uh, this will be, that'll be the video that is under that. Uh, there will also be a picture up there of me and uh, the American Dream. Uh, yesterday, while I was in Tampa, Florida... I got to go by to uh, Florida Championship Wrestling where they are, that's the breeding ground. That's where all the young superstars are coming out of right now. And these kids are lucky enough to have dust the roof, baby. The American dream, if you will. Uh, they get the American dream to teach them how to interview. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine uh, what that would have been like if I could have had that blessing. I just got to watch them and steal some of his stuff because <laughs> uh, Diamond Dallas Page is absolutely a little piece of the American dream, a little piece of Jesse Ventura, a little piece of handsome Jimmy Valiant, a little piece of a little, little, little bit, a little bit more than a little piece of Jake the Snake Roberts, a little bit of perfect, uh, Mr. Perfect that is, and a little bit of the man himself who uh, we have been featuring all this last couple months, uh, Randy Savage. Uh, I want to tell you a story about Savage because I don't really have any behind the scenes for this match because it was like the mall. We went out there and we just, you know, tore a new hole in it. You know, we we put the boot to the metal and we just, we hit it. So um, you know about that. Uh, there was a friendship that built between Randy and Randy is a different cat. Um, Thanksgiving, this, this, this match happened in October. It was um, uh, Halloween Havoc. And around Thanksgiving... I got a lot of, there wasn't texting back then, but there was the beeper, and they could beep you a text, technically. That was the beginning of texting 101, I guess. And um, I got a lot of thank yous, uh, happy Thanksgivings from a lot of the boys because, you know, nothing for nothing, I helped a lot of guys, at least 30 or more guys get their jobs at World Championship Wrestling by helping with an introduction or showing a videotape or, or whoever. Um, and uh, a lot of them were very grateful, and you know, at, at the time, you know, everybody doesn't remember later, but at the time, they, you know, were sending me happy Thanksgivings and thank you so much for the opportunity and things like that. And you know, I started to think to myself uh, as I was reading these uh, these little texts I was getting, um, who 
besides my, my family uh, uh, and Dusty Rhodes, uh, because if there was no Dusty Rhodes, there is no Diamond Dallas Page, uh, who was I really grateful to? And I was thinking about it, I thought, Randy Savage. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got to, you know, I got to call him and, you know, because I didn't, you know, have his pager. And I called him up and I left him a message on his phone and I said, uh, Randy, uh, this may sound kind of corny, but um, I just cut myself. <laughs> I said, Randy, this this may sound kind of corny, but uh, a lot of guys are, are wishing me uh, happy Thanksgiving, and and uh, I was sitting around beside you know my family and uh, and Dusty Rhodes, who am I really thankful you know for for, for helping me, and uh, dude, it's you. So uh, you know. Not for nothing, bud. I just want to thank you because I know I'm not in this position if it wasn't for you. Uh, Reach really Scott and Kev, of course, because they started the whole ball rolling. But, you know, for you actually putting me over in the middle like you did uh, and that spring spring stampede, uh, that was that was a really big deal, and I just want to thank you for it. So I don't see Randy for like a couple of weeks, right? And uh, I think he was away on vacation or whatever. And, and he came back, and I'm walking down the hallway, and I see him, and, and he was a very intense cat. The same guy you seen in the ring, who he could be in real life. So, uh, Randy, here he sees me. Boom, 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 boom. And he's like walking down the aisle, you know, coming, coming right toward him. Diamond, come here. I'm thinking, what did I do wrong, you know? I mean, this cat's intense, right? So he goes, mm, uh, I, uh, I got your message. Uh, and uh, I got to tell you, I, uh, I, call, I called my uh, dad up. You know, his dad was... Angelo Poffo, he was a very famous professional wrestler back in the early days. I mean, legend. And uh, he says, Dad, uh, uh, I want to play something for you. And he plays him the, the tape, the, you know, the, it, the message I left him. And he said, Dad, did anybody ever do that for you? And he said, well, Randy, he said, I never even heard about anybody doing anything like that for anybody. And he looked at me and he said, I can't tell you how much that meant to me. I really appreciate that. And he gave me a big hug. I got myself. <laughs> I was telling you before. Um, he gave me a big hug and he said, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> and I was welcome. I was happy to be welcome. So that, that'll be the end of the Savage Feud. Uh, we will feud again because we're going from now, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning in our next uh our next deal here, and I'm going to start with my embryonic stages of Diamond Dallas Page. Like, how did Diamond Dallas Page ever get a job as a manager? I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to show you my original footage that I have, and then I'm sure Dylan's going to, you know, do something sweet with some sort of editor or whatever. You're going to see how the whole dream started, and it was started as a dream. It started as an idea. It started with me writing it down. That's why I always tell you, if you've got an idea, if you want to do something, you want to live a dream, you want to make a goal happen, write it down, ink it, don't think it. That's your inspirational quote for today, by the way. Ink it, don't think it. I also want to uh, smarten you up that I'm also going to be doing my own podcast, but it's for YRG and health and fitness and that, but anybody can come around, it's going to be starting May 18th, uh, May 18th. Uh, and you can go to YRG Workout, or I'll find a way. I'll, I'll get more information from that. May 18th, though, it's the YRG Radio Roundtable. I'm going to pick one person from uh, from YRG, and then there's going to be three spots. Uh, Yoga Doc will be my partner, my uh, my co-host. We'll pick one of our featured people from YRG, and then two people will come into the roundtable and talk. And we'll have a moderator and chat room. It's going to be pretty cool. And I'm actually even thinking about doing my own wrestling talk show, too. But that's later. First, it's Radio Roundtable. And I also want to give props out there and make you aware of the last call with Scott Hall. It's one of my videos that I follow. Anytime Scott does something, last call with Scott Hall is some really cool stuff. You should check it out. You should subscribe to his blog. If you're catching this on YouTube, this is The Real DDP www.darealddp.com You want to subscribe to it, you want to get it, because if not, you're just getting this video. And if you're just getting this video, you ain't getting the whole effect, because we got a bunch of other stuff in this. Videos, pictures, the whole deal. That's all I got for you monkeys. See you. Bang! Wrestling Wednesdays, Thursdays, whatever. <laughs>